So probably Mother Mary as well, but we'll see who steps forward. And uh, I've never channeled, I've never connected with Mary Magdalene very much, and I've never uh, connected with Mother Mary very much either. So this will be interesting. They are stepping forward and they want to uh, channel through me, so might, might as well. kind of saying thank you for bringing our energy forward for others. It's showing me a lot of love in the heart. And yeah, I'm just gonna ask her about her lifetime with Jesus and let's see what she has to say about that. And I'm just, I'm just open to see what she has to say about that lifetime. And out of the back, that she's talking about her relationship with Jesus. And they had a had created like an awesome energy between each other and built energy by loving each other they amplified and built energy up and out and it greatly greatly uh, helped both of them <laughs> She's kind of talking about how the times are very different. And I'm going to ask her, was there an ascension going on during that time? Was there an awakening? And she says, yes, there was a great awakening during that time. Our people, I think the people around her and a lot of the people <laughs> around her were beginning to awaken to who they were. They're kind of saying that was the pinnacle of divine intervention. That's when Earth was like, oh, I've had enough. I want to move into a better direction, paradise, a direction to the new Earth. And Source was like intervening a lot during that time period. He was intervening through his son, through Jesus, through Mary Mag Magdalene, through the apostles, the disciples, and many others. It's, he's saying there was like instrument, they were like instruments of source. It greatly helped. I'm just gonna agree. It greatly helped uh, humanity. He said all that energy is leading up. Was start that was started back then. The Christ consciousness energy, the momentum that was built. It's starting to come here. It's it's starting to complete itself now, in this lifetime, this uh, time. <sighs> They're saying this is the greatest awakening. 
in our like galaxy. That's cool. <laughs> it's one of the greatest awakenings in our galaxy. There's so many beings up on our planet, so many humans, so many star seeds that have incarnated here <laughs> to get this going, to spark it. Earth is becoming a place of growth, of great, great growth and prosperity. Many souls have come here to have growth, including my soul, much needed growth. In the case of my soul, I was more comfortable during the, in the bodies that I was in. Um, and I got too comfortable. <laughs> and that's happened to me in these lifetimes as well, but now I'm experiencing a lot of growth in this lifetime. Saying stepping forward helps grow you exponentially. She's got saying, don't worry about is the earth going in the right direction or worry a lot about the environment. It'll all correct itself. Correct correct itself. Miracles can happen. We are not the only ones helping the earth. There's many, 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 many ET beings, many, many uh, spirits and spirit and angels and archangels that are helping us. Don't concern yourself. It's a long process and there'll be many more uh, children being born that have this high vibrational energy and they will make sure that the earth won't turn to crap, <laughs> basically. This lifetime that I'm in, these are kind of like the, the older people are kind of fading out, the lower vibrational people, the older energies. I think she wants to talk about indigos, indigo childs, children. That what is what I am. My generation of indigos are more sensitive, which is really cool. We are here to break the mold, to hold our ground. Our uh, soul is more experienced than others. You're the pioneers of this new movement. And she's kind of saying the older generation of indigos is tougher, but my generation that's coming in of indigos, it's, it's more sensitive and they uh, don't need this, uh, this toughness anymore, which is a good thing. She wants the world to move in a place where people don't have to be as tough. <laughs> that people can be open and sensitive and confident and, and still have the armor and still have those boundaries and still have that, you know, be able to hold their ground, but not be so tough. <laughs> this is funny. Let's see what uh, Mother Mary has to say on this topic. 
I feel like she's stepping forward. She's just smiling and she's just, she's just so excited for all these children and that are coming in. She has a lot of love for all of them. She's saying these children need to be looked after for they have exceptional abilities and talents. <laughs> One so we can't even imagine, really. <laughs> it's like they're gonna shock everyone, sorta. Like, whoa, they are. <laughs> it's like. We've been training or like practicing some abilities that we have, but they're already going to have all of them and more and different kinds and all kinds of stuff. And she's also saying the ETs, they're going to help us with these abilities because they are a part of our genetics. They are us on earth as humans. They are learning as well, watching us, helping us. They are learning from us just as we are learning from them. She's talking about how when people teach people, they learn a lot themselves. They grow a lot themselves. I think she's talking about hybrids. Yeah, some children are becoming, that are coming are hybrids, genetically, or their genetics are upgraded. Be more sensitive have more abilities. But this is coming with the crystals and the rainbows and after that. She's saying it's very important for us to watch our own vibrational frequency and what we put out. Because these children are very sensitive, very empathic, and we need to walk down this path of light and show them this is the path. Because it can be confusing for some of them because they're so sensitive and so empathic. To be on this earth plane within the collective, it's very different for them. A lot of them are ET, a lot of, have a lot of ET lifetimes. They need guidance. And us being on Earth longer, that have, been on, that have been on Earth longer, need to guide them because we are more grounded. They're kind of saying not to put our judgments or opinions upon them, for they are just different. They are just different. And she doesn't like when parents control their kids too much. Yeah. Just nourishing them. Nurturing them. Become who they truly are. Not trying to mold them into who you want them to be. But she's saying it doesn't even really matter these people are just going to discover who they are, already knowing who they are from a young age. They can't be molded. They are unique. <sighs> I think that's all. And Mother like Mary uh, wants me to relay another message. Uh, it's about speaking your truth, speaking your voice. 
speaking from the heart, speaking of light, spreading your light. This will help show the younger generation and help show others around us that this is the way there is a path that's easier and this is it. <laughs> Get out of your own way. Speak your heart. Speak your truth. Speak from who you are, from your inner beingness. Be freeing to, to speak your truth, to have that freedom to speak your truth, to speak who you are. To be authentic. It is true freedom. She's saying have the bravery and be courageous. You won't regret it. A huge weight will be lifted off your shoulders. lot of energy she's gonna say your soul wants to express itself your soul wants to spread its light we just have to get out of our own way and allow it to do so these old patterns we have to recognize them and uh, override them almost and go forward and do this Especially in my case, is what they're saying. She's kind of talking about how this community of light workers is kind of uh, creating an energy and it's amplifying and it's very, very helpful for the earth, for everyone around us. It, it has a trickle down effect that affects so many, so many people. And it makes an energetic field of uh, around us. And it amplifies it throughout all of humanity. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Something like that. She's kind of saying you are the only ones that can do this. I can spread this light with humanity that can do it. <laughs> so why not? She's saying we can't uh, do this like on the other side. They can to a certain extent, but it has to be us that has to do this for humanity. They need us to spread this light to others. Focus your mind on positive things on your inner being, on who you really are. Focus is everything. For it'll manifest the reality around you as well. You have to believe in your own light. Then it truly will manifest. Believe in your own light, believe in yourself. She's saying, how can you not, how can you create things if you don't believe in it? This just doesn't work that, like, that way. <laughs> Find that inner authenticity and be proud of that. Be proud of this, be confident within this, because it is who you are. 
And when you do that, then that is truly, truly powerful. It inspires other people to be this way, to be authentic. It encourages others to be this way and to spread their light and to be authentic, to be transparent. That's the word I'm looking for, transparent. She's saying, I have a transparent heart. And part of my purpose is to show my truth, my transparent heart with others. For this will help spark that within others that transparency, that authenticity within others. This is the new way of being on earth. For men, especially. Mother Mary has some great messages going on there. She's saying for a lot of men, they're sensitive and this is part of their nature and they need to be transparent with themselves and their own emotions, their own heart, be honest with themselves and be open with their emotions sometimes. Not be so closed off. For this is the old way and it will fizzle out and it will be very, very uncomfortable moving forward to be like this. But being more sensitive, this is part of your nature to show who you are to express who you are. <laughs> and it's easier now than ever to express this. Okay, I think she is done. But uh, thank you for listening.